Hello everyone, this is Sephardus Destroyers back again with another conventional video. So this this weekend was my first convention of 2014. It was Invasion Belfast 6. It was great to have um, Invasion back because I've been a bit of a while since the Emerald Garrison, the main Irish cosplaying legion, um, have put on one of the Invasion events. Um, Last one I attended was in October 2012, I think. I attended two that year. Uh, one in Belfast, one in Dublin. Um, then they had a break last year um, from the Invasion events to focus on why there were other shows. So it was good to have Invasion back. It uh, wasn't a big show, I probably. Um, like, um, there was a bit of a Akinan merchandise store, should I say. Um, it, well, I won't really say that, but it felt a bit empty. Um, there was lots of displays and sets, though, including a few new ones, um, which was pretty good. Um, only two guests, which was a small bit disappointing, especially as I had met the two guests there before, um, but did meet them again, and they were very nice as they were before when I met them. Um, yeah, um, I will say right away, this is a whole video, obviously. Um, it's not my biggest convention haul video ever, because um, I do plan to attend a good number of conventions this year, and I'm, com and I'm very much trying to attend a really big one um, next year, 2015. I think yeah, I don't think any of you Star Wars fans will need um, any telling which convention this is. It should be pretty obvious. Um, so yeah, um, with this being one of many, one of several, I should say, conventions this year, um, I didn't want to spend too much right away, so I only got a few things. I only brought about sixty pounds, I want to say, um, to the event. Um, but I did probably could have brought, brought a lot more. But there are some really good conventions like this year still to attend, so didn't really get that much. But I will show you what I did get. There was some actually pretty cool stuff that I did. Um, the first of which, actually the first two, I'll start with figures. Um, uh, I got what I'm calling a new rare figure and an old rare figure. Now the new one is a rare figure that was released in the uh, last few years. The other one, the old rare figure, is rare figure from years ago. Um, the um, new one was from the store is the Black Series. It is the very popular Death Plagueis, or Plagueis, or whatever you want to call him. Um, and, you know, of course, he has been probably the most sought-after figure in the Black Series line so far, um, because this is the first Plagueis figure we've had. Um, for most of the figures in the Black Series line so far, we have had them, um, uh, you know, a good number of times in different designs and all. Well, there was one Wookiee, I think, that we hadn't had a figure of either, but Plagueis is definitely the most notable, and it's just great to have him in the collection finally. And gone for a very good price as well, and um, while the stores there, the one that was more focusing on new figures, when one, the other uh, collectible store was focusing on older figures, um, they had three of him, um, and they were all just £8, very cheap, um, definitely much cheaper than the online prices, and they only actually had three of this figure and they were all gone within an hour of the event. That just tells you how popular this figure is. Um, I'm absolutely delighted to have him. I mean, he's definitely been my most anticipated figure in the Black Series line and now I have him. Um, in regards to older uh, figures, I mean, this is an interesting one. Um, you know, one of the things I do a lot is a lot of research into many Star Wars things, you know, for my podcast and all and now I have come across and gained a new liking for a lot of the uh, aliens in Return of the Jedi and especially this one who some of you may not have heard of before they're called and this is actually really hard to pronounce and Amanda Man uh, Amanda Man Man <laughs> it is really really difficult and I'm probably saying it really stupid saying it um, when this figure is released it was actually the fan's choice figure number two so it's actually pretty cool the way it was, you know, really wanted. Um, and interesting story for you, actually, um, for you geeks. Um, the actress who played this creature in Return of the Jedi is currently the cinematographer on the do new Doctor Who series. So there's a bit of an interesting trivia for you. Um, 
Now, it's kind of a creepy figure, if you think of it. I mean, the alien itself, not so much, but look at what comes with. You've got a staff with skulls on it, and you've got a kind of decomposed body, I want to say. Um, and you also actually get Salacious Chrome as a pack in um, so yeah, really cool, I'm really happy with that figure, it was £15, I'd say it was a great deal. Um, um, and as well as that, um, moving on to the autographs, though, actually keeping it a bit with figures as well as autographs, because the uh, this was actually the last figure I got the event, was Bib Fortuna, um, and I'm very happy to get his figure. Um, I actually said to myself going into the event, I would only get um, Michael Carter, uh, who played Bib Fortune and Return of the Jedi autographed it again, if I could find a figure uh, of Bib or Return of the Jedi poster, but they weren't doing posters. Um, it's like, oh, I have a picture autograph from Michael, and I don't think I wanted another so quickly, so... Uh, they actually had, there was actually a fair few bib figures, there was like three or four, and uh, kind of ironically, this is the oldest bib figure, and it's actually still probably the best bib figure there is. Uh, I definitely think for Hasbro to consider, you know, they really need to release a definitive bib for Tuna, because none of the bib figures are really that amazing. I actually picked this one mainly because it was the least goofy and stupid looking. Um, yeah, it's from the Power of the Force line, I believe. Um, and it's pretty cool. I'm definitely keeping this one coded. I think you can see the signature. Um, just says Michael Carter, Bib Fortuna. Um, really happy with that. Um, the other autograph, which I was also very happy with, was from the other guest who attended, Alan Rusko, who played Plo Koon and Dote Dauphine in The Phantom Menace. Um, uh, it's very nice. I absolutely love this Plokin picture. I remember when I went to the Star Wars Fan Fun Day convention last year, um, like, I brought a Dorte Dauphine figure for him to sign, and I saw this. He had these pictures. I think he actually mentioned that uh, Fan Fun Day last year was the first time he ever brought these this picture to a convention to sign, and it really is a great one. I love this shot of Plo Koon. Um I was actually half tempted to not get the Dorte Dauphine figure signed and just get this picture signed instead, but no, I didn't. I, well, I did bring the figure, but I might as well get it signed, so. Uh, but yeah, very happy to now have this picture of Plo Koon, you know, signed by Alan Osco, um, which is really cool and um, just really nice autograph. It says, To Roy, warmest wishes, Alan Rusko, Plo Koon. So yeah, very happy with that. Um, yeah, really great picture. Um, my last item, which is actually going back to Hasbro, I'm kind of cheating a little bit here because I actually didn't get this um, at Invasion uh, before I went up. My dad had found it uh, reduced, so he gave it to me when I went up. It is um, Anakin Skywalker's pod racer. So I now have most of the 2012 vehicles, uh, uh, all of them gotten for very reduced prices. Um, so like I don't really normally go for the vehicles um, unless they're really well, really reduced in price. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've gotten most of the, the vehicles in that way for now because they're still peg warm in here and are really cheap now from being reduced so much. But yeah, that is my Invasion Belfast haul. Um, not huge, as I said, but it's still pretty good. I mean, got two rare figures Darth Plagueis, amazing figure. Um, the Amanda Man is a great one as well. Very happy to have that figure. Um, uh, the Bib Fortuna figure got signed by Michael Curtis. Very nice. Um, and a great autograph figure in my collection. Plo Koon picture signed. Very cool. And the Anakin Skoker's Pod Racer. Very nice as well. Um, so yeah, very happy with everything I got at Invasion Belfast. That definitely, I hope... <laughs> well, I don't think I really need to hope because I know there'll definitely be some really great more convention halls to come so thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you